All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the challenger, Blood. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? Good to have you with us tonight. Of course, we are inside Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, USA. And every time I walk through these walls, I can't help but think about Gilbert Melendez and Diego Sanchez going toe-to-toe -to -toe back at UFC 166. Remember, Rogan? Oh, my God! It was the craziest fight. You could not believe what you were watching. These two guys said, this is the night that we make history. We're going to stand on a quarter in the middle of the octagon and let them fly, and that they did. Houston, the Toyota Center has been home to some of the greatest fights in UFC history. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, big elbow. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. Usually from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The 
opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And there comes the separation now. Nice. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Beautiful body kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Now connects with the right. Three minutes to go here, round one. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Blocks the shot. Just out of range with that strike. Look at him chopping the woods. Chop the woods with those leg kicks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to bring the legs all the way up around the shoulders and just control you. Because to me personally, and I'm no jujitsu expert, to me personally, it feels like this is a position to really just slow everything down. Are there submissions? Yes. But the ideal thing in this position is to slow you down from damaging and really just make you feel more in danger than you really are. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Punch is blocked. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after guns and blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. One, 
over the top. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bullet. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down for the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Big kick. All right, single collar tie now. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Just misses with the right. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, no surprise as he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that. Cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Back to his feet. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts, he's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, straight right. Oh! Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And both guys really flowing with authority. Whiffs on the right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Just misses there with the left. 20 seconds left. Great punch. Remain in round two. Big kick lands. And the takedown oh, attempt. Oh. But he does not land it. Just 
All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right hand punch. Landed that one. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, single collar tie here. He's got a serious right punch, and he went, oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? If try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. It's this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Oh, nice jab. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice head kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. And they separate. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Ooh! Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Straight punch lands. Oh, the defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. He missed with that jab attempt there. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. He's able to slip the left there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. There's no tell on that leg kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Back and forth we go! All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, collar tie. Good punch. Misses again with a right punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Big kick lands. 
final seconds of round three. Right hand upstairs. Beautiful hit. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up. He threw it straight. He threw it long. And over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go with that extra 10 minutes. Blocks the shot. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Oh man, head keep lands. A oh, little single collar tie there. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, the opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high to try to protect that cut. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice strike. Right hand upstairs. He blocks the punch. Oh, nice. Nice. So he counters with an effective punch there. And now he's hooked. That one of those shots that if you take one of them, in the night, that one landed right on the spot. Trying to stay in this fight. Him there, beautiful shot to the body. And they separate. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Back to the feet now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. The right hand just misses. He blocks the shot. Oh, that's a good right hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. Oh. Oh. His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou, and you know they still haven't found Alice over his head. All right, single collar tie now. Nice. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, yeah, right hand. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Single collar tie now. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, he comes right back to his face. Beautiful 
kick. Slips. All right, he engages in the single collar job. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice punch land. Nice leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, look at that jab. Snaps his head back. This jab gets to the target so fast. Always brings his hands right back to his face. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Oh, big punch lands. Tried with the uppercut there, just missed, or so it appears. Big punch from the clinch. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. He is pulling a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab, that's one that's really knocking the head back. And he lands the knee to the body now. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, misses with the jab. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Whip his hip into that kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Such a bad, bad hook. DC, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Exchanged in the pocket there. Punch coming, it's blocked. All right, well, time. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kabura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh! And the turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. Tonight. Oh, 
so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now he's got that tight punch. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming out of such a great defensive fight. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Beautiful punch. Oh, tags him with that uppercut. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Great punch. What does he follow that uppercut with next time? He lands it so effectively. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Nice job of hiding that head kick. of this epic championship fight. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. Decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. All right, so heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proving he's the elite among the elite. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is 